Hi, this is an introductory video about ASP.NET MVC in which I will create a very basic ASP.NET MVC application and uh, in this basic application you will learn mainly about the architecture of this application like ASP.NET MVC application that how data flows from uh, controller to view and uh, back uh, from view to controller and uh, maybe we will not involve model in this so mvc is actually model view controller it is a design pattern some sometimes it is called an architecture sometimes it is called uh, a programming technique which can be implemented uh, in any programming language and uh, uh, it's uh, but asp.net mvc the structure of the application is by default is MVC so you have to do the development uh, by following the rules of MVC in which uh, you have to separate your model you have a controller and then view so uh, before we talk about ASP.NET MVC basically MVC in detail uh, let's start uh, creating a very simple ASP.NET MVC application so I will be using uh, uh, Studio 2017. 2019 is uh, out in the market. You can also uh, download and install that. And uh, if uh, uh, you see any difference, you can uh, just uh, put a comment in the in the comments area on this video, and we will discuss uh, more about it. So uh, let's uh, create a new project. You can create a new project from here. You can go and file a new a new project, and uh, we will uh, we will be looking at uh, Visual C Sharp because I will be using Visual C Sharp, and I will go into the web section, and then in this web section I will create ASP.NET web application. I will not be creating ASP.NET Core web applications. We will discuss this later on, but I will choose ASP.NET web application. Uh, if you don't see this web section and you don't see this ASP.NET web application, it means that ASP.NET uh, web application SDK and its components are not installed. Uh, if you don't see this here, you can open with your Studio Installer and uh, in Installer you can add or remove different uh, components which will be used in uh, Visual Studio. So it's getting ready and uh, fetching all the information of uh, installed and available uh, components. So let's, uh, I guess we will, yeah. So uh, you see that I have installed a, uh, a .NET desktop application components and uh, I have installed ASP.NET and web development. So if I see that uh, I have when when I installed this I installed a .NET Framework 4.6 and uh, development tools and .NET Core and ASP .NET and web development tools. So these are important and essential to install and to do the development in ASP .NET. So if you have not installed, you just check this and you will see that the total space that will be required, like that will be in GBs and it will do the installation from the internet anyways so let's uh, create our first asp.net app so web app for uh, let's say for example for uh, for youtube demo so i will create this uh, application Torrent framework version is 4.6 is fine 4.7.2 is the latest right now at the time of recording of this uh, video so when i choose web application it asks me or gives me uh, many options that uh, if i want to go to old school i can choose web forms uh, but this demonstration is about mvc so i will choose mvc in authentication i can choose an auth authentication about individual user account it will add a component of registering a login and uh, I guess forgot password as well and you will be able to create an account uh, within our application but I will not add this we will we will be developing our own application uh, for this 
so i will choose mvc and mvc as you can say that a mvc the application is allow you to build application using the model view controller architecture so it says architecture over here so let's press ok so it will create a basic building block about the application and uh, um, it's uh, creating a kind of uh, uh, basic uh, template and uh, above that template we can do our uh, uh, ASP.NET and MVC development you can see it's adding different uh, jQuery and other components so this is the architecture of the application you have a uh, solution one solution can have multiple projects so this is one project that we have created web app for youtube demo and this is a, a publishing page where we will be publishing our application using different uh, uh, mechanisms such as uh, publishing on azure ftp iis and so on so we don't need right now so let's look at the application over here. we don't have any connected services we have properties of this application in this property we have assembly information where we talk about the application name and details and so on we have references added over here which as which are actually by default added we can add and remove those references later on uh, these are actually the dls which will be or the libraries which will be used in the application so app data actually contains normally it contains a database file if we are developing uh, a database based application for storing some data in local database file so app.start actually is a starting point of our application and bundle.configuration file actually has a configuration of uh, uh, different bundles such as uh, jQuery, uh, Bootstrap, TSS. So it has, uh, if you see that we have, uh, um, uh, you have scripts and in scripts and in content, we have different, you see the content folder over here. So this content folder actually contain all the Bootstrap and different CSS that is, uh, that will be used in this theme. Uh, if you are customizing your theme, you can do this. And these are actually the controllers that we will talk about that how we uh, do the things so these are the actually the filter configuration we don't need to modify this right now and uh, this route configuration file is important which actually explain that how the request from a URL will be routed uh, if you see that uh, and uh, you can actually uh, create more routes uh, this is uh, the route which is a default route and the URL pattern would be controller action and ID and the default is for example if somebody uh, writes something like www.abc.com so the default route would be uh, home controller and the action is uh, index and ID is actually optional parameter if somebody specify that it will take it otherwise it will just uh, not ask user to enter that route so this is the route configuration we will uh, get back to this route configuration later on if when we will run our very basic application so content um, i already discussed contains css so controller and we have uh, some fonts already models uh, directory right now is empty we have not created any model and the scripts actually creates by default jQuery script provided by this um, this template and uh, then views actually contain all the CSS HTML files CSS HTML files are actually C sharp uh, HTML files they can be VB HTML files as well depending upon the language that we have chosen to develop our application and you can see that we have a shared folder and we have a home uh, directory so home directory contains about.cshtml contact.cshtml we will see more about this is icon. it's a global asx and this is actually packages.configuration file which will install web.configuration file actually contains uh, uh, different uh, com con con configurations about this uh, application such as uh, connection string etc 
so let's uh, run this application uh, you can choose different browsers you can uh, choose to have different options while running this application so by default it's uh, giving google chrome and iis is actually the server which actually runs asp.net application or host just like if you are developing in 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 php so the apache is actually the server which execute uh, your application and uh, after after that it uh, handle all the requests and gives you response so this is our uh, very basic and first application if we run we will see uh, home page and in that home page we will see multiple options so first time when we execute the application because it's compiling and generating output and uh, that's why it will take uh, a bit more time but later on it will be a bit faster so this is our very basic application which is generated from a template so if i click on home so this is actually home and uh, if i go back and show you so the default routing is actually home controller is home and the index is action over here and then uh, after that if I come here in about so we have home and we have about so this is actually the URL which actually tells over here so we have a controller and we have an action right so uh, so this this routing actually explains that whenever uh, we write something we write a controller and then inside the controller we specify a controller action method right and then if i go and click on contact so this is a home which is a controller and this is an action right and it's displaying some information over here so if i click on home it is default route is home slash index so you see that if i click on home or enter home slash index it's the same as this because in the configuration it is specified that if user does not enter anything it will by default go to the home controller and uh, triggers the index action so uh, if I if I'm at about and if I write index I will go back to this index so this is this one right so this is our uh, very basic application which has uh, different uh, uh, the, we have one uh, home controller and it has uh, different actions so let's go back and uh, see more about uh, uh, about this home controller so this home controller is actually uh, it is a derived class of a controller and the namespace is um, our application name dot controllers and uh, its name is home controller so the controller is appended with the name of a controller always and these are the actually action uh, actions which we see over here so index about and contact so whenever we let's say for example let me show you so if i add a breakpoint over here right and i run my application and if I go and click uh, on uh, about so about will uh, actually if you see at the, at the status bar is slash home slash about which means it will look for a home controller and it will uh, look for an about action so if I click on this you can see that this breakpoint is triggered and the control of the execution of application is right now over here on this about method so, so so the controller actually decides uh, what to do when this uh, action is called and uh, it is actually re returning a view so let's uh, continue I'm pressing F5 so it's uh, just displaying this uh, page so similarly when I go to the contact if I come back to the about and then it's again triggered so that's actually how the flow of the application uh, works so right now in MVC we have discussed that view and the controller so view actually when I click on uh, something it looks for a controller and it looks for a particular action of that specific controller and that controller depending upon what is 
um, the, the algorithm and the business logic written inside a controller uh, according to that uh, things are returned to the view or different type of view is returned so in this case in our application just returning a view which is an action result which is a system dot web dot mvc dot action result class and it returns a view so view actually looks for a home directory inside uh, inside views right and it will search for about dot html file so about dot css html file is actually rendered so what's happening in about dot css html file it's uh, using a view bag and view bag dot title is uh, accessed and dot message is, is accessed and uh, displaying some information uh, use this area to provide additional information so so this is actually our css html file so so the data is sent from here using a view bag so view bag is uh, is actually a, a controller based uh, class uh, you can set different properties of view bag over here and then you can send that let's say for example if i add uh, view bag dot uh, uh, my message i am sending something from about action right so i can access this using view bag uh, over here so let's add a paragraph and i will use so at the rate sign is actually a razor syntax which is used in asp.net and mvc and uh, we will talk uh, about razor syntax a bit more it's quite flexible syntax uh, you can uh, mix uh, your uh, 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 HTML and your razor syntax all together, so it's quite flexible. We'll, uh, we'll, maybe we will talk about this uh, over here. So my message. So what I am going over doing over here is I'm using my MSG over here. This is a view bag dot MSG, and uh, I'm accessing. Basically, I'm sending this uh, small amount of data from this controller to the view. So, so, so its uh, uh, usage or access limit would be until this page and until first until one request. So, when I send, when I request this home controller about action, it creates a view bag. And it returns a view, and this view can access that view bag. So, like it's use, it's already accessing a message, and now it will access my message that my my MSG. So let's run this, and uh, it's uh, already accessing home slash about. So uh, when you have opened a view, and you run this application. So it will by default uh, launch uh, that specific controller and view. So you can see that I am sending something from about action. So this text is displayed because uh, controller in con inside the controller we did set this. And again, uh, uh, if uh, this application is running right now and you don't need to stop this application. Uh, if we have if we are doing any changes over here so for example if I say that uh, uh, this is something coming from controller so if we save this and if I refresh this this is something coming from controller right so let's uh, make it a bit strong getting stronger so oops Apparent. strong so refresh so this is coming from controller so now you see that uh, how this um, flow actually works so whenever you uh, send a request through a URL which is specified in a URL routing that 
whenever you send a request the ui routing pattern is it will look for a controller it will look for an action and it will look for an id and id is actually option and by default it's home and index so let's change the default home and about so if i run this So if you don't specify anything in the URL, it should go to the home controller and trigger the about action. So about action is actually setting a view back and returning a view. So what about if we have added another action? So I am adding an action result is the type and I am adding another action. Let's say for example, uh, demo and return view so what will happen if somebody access this uh, demo so let's see so let's let's by default add this or launch this demo action so we don't need to type uh, on the on the on the on the url so so when uh, we uh, type this this home and demo which is equivalent to home slash demo so it will actually look for views uh, directory at the, at, the, at, at the root and look for home directory and look for demo.aspx ascx cshtml vbshtml file inside home inside shared and uh, it actually did not find anything because from demo we are returning a view so which means that we need to uh, ret uh, it will look for the demo.cshtml file but what about if we want to display some other html file so i stop this and i will do the changes so in the view we have uh, multiple options that what we want to do over here so let's for example by default it will look for demo.cshtml and you can uh, return uh, iview and you can uh, return a model we are we have not discussed models right now we can discuss a different view name let's say for example i am returning about so demo will also return about.cshtml right so it's returning about uh, action all right and then you will realize that this about which is actually uh, displaying some messages is different than this about because uh, in this about this is which is which is actually home controller that request comes to the controller controller creates a view bag and view uses that view so this is also one clue that this view back will be used only for the first time when for the time when when user access the home controller and about action and returns the view but in this case we did not set anything but let's uh, set something some message like uh, we need to stop because we are modifying controller so dot message is let's say for example oops so i will change this to this from demo action so now this from demo action should be displayed uh, on this about dot uh, cshtml file because in about dot cshtml file uh, uh, that is used uh, from demo action right so this is coming from view bag right so this is actually uh, that's how it works and uh, in next video we will create our own uh, controller and then uh, we will be sending some more data from the view right now we are not sending anything from the view to the to the controller we are just strictly hitting 
uh, a URL and uh, in the URL we specify uh, a controller name we specify an action name and in action uh, it returns the view and view is just displaying the information right all right so see you in next video bye bye for now